So Tassie have now been accepted as the 19th AFL team, which begs the question, will there be a 20th team entering the AFL, and if so, who? In this video, I'll break down the most likely candidates for a new team entering the AFL, and we'll look at what I think are the pros and cons of each of these options. This will be in no particular order. Starting out with possibly the most commonly mentioned city slash region for expansion, which is Darwin or the Northern Territory as a whole. I think a name like the Darwin Dingo sounds great. I would personally prefer the name Darwin than the Northern Territory as their name. In saying this, they would likely play the majority of their games in Darwin with a few in Alice Springs. The advantages of this are that there is a huge passion for footy in the top end and it would make the AFL a more national competition with the Northern Territory represented. There have been many great players to come out of the NT, including Michael Long and Sue Rioli. However, the big thing going against Darwin and the NT is its small population. Darwin has a population of only around 140,000 and the NT as a whole has about 250,000 people. In comparison, Tassie has doubled this and there were concerns over its population. Tiago Stadium in Darwin has a capacity of 12,500 and Tiago Traeger Park in Alice Springs has a capacity of 10,000. So there would be need for significant expansion of an existing ground or they would need to build a new stadium which would be very expensive and likely not economically viable due to the small population. The other disadvantage is the climate, particularly around the wet and dry seasons. The Northern Territory Football League is played in summer during the wet season, mostly due to the hard playing surfaces and the need to play cricket during the dry season. Most AFL games that have been played in Darwin have been at night to avoid the humidity and heat. Overall, I would say that a team in the NT is not likely in the short term due to its small population, but in the long run could be a possibility and the thing going for it is that it's a predominantly AFL region. This brings me onto the next candidate for expansion, which is Canberra. Canberra has had many AFL bids in the past, but has never seemed to attract attention from the AFL, constantly being overlooked by other markets as a city not big enough and a rugby city. It could be at risk of being overshadowed once again. However, Canberra is the 8th largest city in Australia with a population of around 450,000 that is growing and the ACT is more AFL friendly than most would think. AFL used to be more popular than rugby until the Raiders and Brumbies were created and even now AFL games still get decent support. The big advantage for expansion or a Victorian team relocation into Canberra is that it is a new and reasonably big market for the AFL to grow while already having some support with it once again making the AFL a truly national competition by expanding into a new territory. The cons are that with a population of around 450,000 it may not be big enough especially for a city where AFL isn't the dominant sport so it may be too big of a risk for the AFL to expand into the ACT but at the same time not quite being big enough for the potential to attract new AFL fans. So it really could go either way with this one. But I think Canberra would be unlucky not to get the 20th license or a relocated Victorian team in the future. Another option more far-fetched is Cairns or North Queensland. It is similar to Darwin as it is in the tropics and would mean that there is representation in the north of Australia. The advantage is that it has a slightly larger population with Cairns having around 160,000 people with nearby Townsville having a population close to 200,000 and it already has a successful NRL team in the North Queensland Cowboys so a professional sporting team in this region is possible. However, the obvious flaw is that this region is more NRL dominant than AFL, especially in Townsville. Cairns has more expats from southern states so there is more AFL friendly presence, but ultimately the population or existing infrastructure isn't adequate to support an AFL team. So I'd say a team here is quite unlikely, at least in the short term. The next cab off the rank is one that's even less likely in my opinion, which is Newcastle. And although it is Australia's seventh largest city, the largest without an AFL team currently, it is a rugby league heartland. And apart from producing star Isaac Heaney, hasn't had that much to do with the AFL and is one of the few prominent locations on this list 
that hasn't hosted AFL games for premiership points before. Now one option you sometimes hear is a third Adelaide based team, particularly a Sandful club such as Norwood. Norwood had and still has a strong rivalry with Sport Adelaide and has a rich history in that league. There were also a couple of AFL games hosted at Norwood Oval during gather out. The advantage is that it may already have some support from locals. However, I don't see this as a great option as the existence of the Crows as Port's main rivals in the AFL and the fact that many Norwood supporters supported the Crows once they entered the AFL means that it wouldn't make sense for the AFL to expand here. There is no potential for the AFL to gain new fans and it doesn't expand the league into a different city. I just think that three teams in Adelaide is too many. Similarly, there have been strong proposals for a third WA team, most likely in the Perth suburb of Joondala or neighbouring Mandurah. Now, the argument is that Optus Stadium should be hosting more AFL games and a new Perth-based team will allow it to do so. However, I don't think another Perth team is needed because of the same reasons I described with another Adelaide team, as it doesn't expand into a new city and there isn't that much for the AFL to gain. Arguably some soccer or rugby union fans, but I don't know if this is enough. The positive is though, that it might have the population requirement as Perth is growing and it already has over 2 million and a stronger case in my opinion is that it would create a third team in the West which reduces the travel burden for the current WA teams. Mandurah would ideally be better than Joondala purely because it's separate from Perth. However, many people here already support the Dockers and since they're the smaller of the WA clubs, they can't afford to split their supporter base. Ideally, if there was another city in WA outside of Perth that was big enough, that would work great, but this is not the case. In saying that, there was a proposal I saw to bring an AFL team to Geraldton, which is in regional WA outside of Perth. However, the population is only around 40,000, which is way too small. I've even seen proposals for a third Sydney-based team, maybe in the southwest, I guess, but I think this is very far-fetched considering the Giants are struggling as it is. Another lesser considered option could be Wollongong, as it is a new market and is more AFL friendly than say, Newcastle. So could have more potential than it's given credit for. Its population is actually over 300,000, so it is small, but not as small as some might think. So population might not be the biggest issue here. However, this is very unlikely to be pursued as it is a rugby league town and there isn't the infrastructure there to support an AFL team. And again, there hasn't been an AFL game played here for premiership points. So the gong is a long way off being a reality. Ballarat is another option considered since it is very AFL supportive, but if Ballarat was ever going to get an AFL team, it would have had one 100 years ago. And I see this as very unlikely due to the population and the fact that people here already support other AFL teams anyway. To finish off, here are some more of the even more obscure options. New Zealand. They played a couple of games here in Wellington and it does have a suitable oval and the population. However, there's a reason why the AFL didn't continue the New Zealand experiment. And I don't see this as a possibility unless the AFL is prepared to spend a lot more money than they did for Gold Coast and GWS. Sunshine Coast, very unlikely. If the Gold Coast have struggled here, then the Sunshine Coast wouldn't work. Central Coast, again, the AFL never had a strong presence here at all. And I don't see the AFL taking a risk on a rugby league heartland with a mid-sized population. Central Queensland, if Cairns is unlikely, then Central Queensland is very far-fetched, as it hasn't even got an NRL team, and its population is too spread. Albury. This wouldn't work as a standalone side, as it is quite clear why. Los Angeles. Interestingly, this was a real proposal in the 80s, and even though I love the idea of Americans watching footy and packing out the LA Coliseum or wherever they play, this will not happen, as travel times would be absolutely ridiculous. China, no, just no. The experiment failed and a team there would never work. North Korea. <laughs> the Pyongyang Rockets? This list has just gone on for too long. Okay, well, there we have it. A list of some potential ideas for expansion. 
let me know in the comments what you think and where you hope the 20th license will go to. Have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.